Okay, we're gonna go over part modeling exam practice. And the first thing you wanna do is download all of your files, unzip the files, copy all of these files, right click, click copy, go to your documents and paste all of these documents right here. So I'm just gonna minimize that, open up my inventor, and then also open up my um, solid professor as well. And then kind of have it side by side. All right, and then I'm gonna hit begin exam and I'm gonna go through and do um, about six of these in this video. So the first one, it says open roller bracket. So I'm gonna to go to my document. I'm gonna open the roller bracket. So just double click on it and it should show up right here, okay? Now it says here to create an extrude from the sketch provided, which terminates at the lower face of the upper section. What is surface area of the extruded cylinder, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to click extrude and it's going to extrude two and then I'm going to select a face and the face I'm going to select is going to be the bottom edge of, um, of this surface or this plane. Okay. And then that's where it's going to stop. And then I'm going to hit okay. And then now I have to measure the surface area of the cylinder. So I'm going to go over to inspect measure click on the outer edge of the cylinder, and I also need to click the two bases, and then they'll give you um, the area and so on. All right, so in number two, we have um, open the clearance block. So I'm gonna go to my file, I'm gonna open the clearance block. So that's this right here. It should open to inventor. So this should be only a sketch. And it says create and extrude from the sketch provided with the following definition. So 1.35 inches in the positive y direction with five degrees of draft so that the parts get smaller towards the x then. So I need to first extrude all of this in the positive y direction, so upward directions with a distance of 1.35. Okay. And then I'm going to click on advanced properties with a taper of five degrees. So that's five degrees. Okay. But it says taper towards the extent. So the smaller extent. So I'm going to flip the direction and then I'm going to hit okay. All right. It says, um, crane extrude that is 0.675 inch in the negative Y direction. So it needs to go down with 10 degrees of the draft. So the, what I have to do is I need to project my geometry. So I'm going to start a sketch here, right click, Click new sketch. Okay, I'm going to go up to um, this sketch right here. I'm going to make it visible. Let's see, where is that? At? Well, actually, no, I'm just going to go up here and hide this real quick. Okay, and I'm going to go to the sketch right here. This extrude. This is the sketch right here. I'm going to make this visible. Okay. And then I'm going to use the project geometry and I'm going to um, project this line, this line, this line, all these lines onto that new sketch that I just created. So I'm going to hit finish and then I'm going to make the solid visible. Okay. And then you're going to see all of the geometry on this here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude the opposite direction. So all of this in the opposite direction, in the Y direction, as you can see. It's going to be 0.675, but it says that it needs to have a 10 degree of draft. So it's 10 degree, 10 degrees of draft so that the parts gets larger towards the extent. So it needs to be bigger, which it is. And that should be it. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I need to, um, project another geometry to the bottom of this surface to add the cutout. So I'm going to right click new sketch. Okay. I'm going to make sure that this sketch is visible, which is, it is, I'm going to project this geometry. So the only way I can do that is I need to hide this solid. Give me a second, right click on this solid, make that invisible. Go back to sketch three, project. And I'm going to click on all of these lines. Okay. Finish sketch. So as you can see, it projected onto that surface. I'm going to make this solid visible again. So visible, and then you should be able to extrude 
this piece right here. Okay, but I want to extrude it so that it cuts both sides. So it's going to go in the opposite direction um, through all with a 10 degrees draft. And I'm going to hit OK. Okay, so then now let's see if that looks good. Okay. And then you need to click, figure out the mass of the part, right click, eye properties, um, physical update. And that should be your, your mass right here, okay? All right, on the next one, we have um, open pocket. So let's go to pocket. So we're going to go to pocket. Click on this. And for this one, it says that remove the pocket feature along with its fillets in the center of the parts. All the features must must remain. So if you were just to suppress this part right here, so if I were to right click and suppress it, um, what actually happens is that all the other parts are actually connected to it. So all, everything would disappear. So we can't do that. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to create a new sketch on that surface and I'm going to project my geometry to the bottom surface. I'm going to hit finish sketch. So now you should be able to extrude. Okay, I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to extrude it too. I'm going to click this point right here. Okay, and that closes that hole and I'm going to hit OK. So it all, it's all should be gone. So now it says, what is the surface area of the flat face with the pocket? So I'm going to go up to inspect, click measure. I'm going to just highlight the top, and then you can see what the area of that is. Okay, on this one, we have want to open fillets and chamfer. So I'm going to open up fillets and chamfer. Okay. As you can see, um, the edges have been filleted. So we're going to follow directions for the rest. It says add a 0 0.08 inch chamfer to the inner hole and where the cylinder meets. So I'm going to go up to chamfer, which is right here. And I'm going to create a chamfer from the inner and the outer. Okay. And it's going to be 0 0.08. So I'm going to change this is to 0 0.08. I'm going to hit OK. The next one is add a 0 0.1 fillet to the top outer edge of the cylinder. So I'm going to go to fillet. And on the top outer edge is going to be 0 0.1. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. The last is add a 0 0.05 fillet to the top edge of the base. So I'm going to go fill it again on the edge of the base. And this is going to be 0 0.05. I'm going to hit apply. Okay. And then now it says what's the total surface area of the part. You can right click on eye properties, physicals, update, and you should have the answer under area. All right, so now what we have is number five. So number five says open the spindle. So I'm going to go over to spindle. Where's spindle? On the bottom, double click on it, and it should open it up to Inventor. It says that I need to uh, revolve the part based on the sketch provided. So I'm going to go to revolve. I'm going to click on the shape. And I'm going to click on the axis. The axis I'm going to click on is actually up here, the construction line. And it should revolve it. I'm going to hit OK. It says, what is the total surface area? Right click, click eye properties, physical. You can update it and so on. All right, so in number six, we have open the connector plate. So I'm going to go to my file. I'm going to open up the connector plate right here. Okay, and then the connector plate, what I'm going to do is I need to mirror the, use the mirror command to create the other half of the part, change the material to silver. What is the end-to-end -end distance of the part? So I want to mirror all of this. So I'm going to go up to mirror function up here, and I'm going to click all the features. So I'm going to need to mirror this extrusion, this extrusion, this one, this one, and the whole. So one, two, three, four, five features are highlighted. The mirror plane that I'm going to select will be the part where the two um, features are going to meet. So it's going to be this U shape. I'm going to click on that. Okay. 
and then I'm going to hit OK. Then I need to assign. Um, I need to assign a material. So I'm going to go up to materials, and I'm going to assign it to um, silver. I believe is what they wanted. Silver. Okay. And hit OK. Let's see if it works now. Yeah, hang on. Maybe go down and find silver. There's silver. There it is. And then. Okay, sober. Why is it not? Okay, click sober. Okay, I'm going to say apply. Paste. Okay, so all I did was um, I just open up the material, click sober, and then it works. So this is sober, and then now it asks for the... Um, the end to end distance, so from this end to this end. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to inspect, measure, and I'm just gonna highlight this edge, and then the end to end distance should be stated right here. And that's it, one through six.